वेलकम एवरी वन टू आवर चैनल जीत की पाठशाला टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन्वायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम यूनिट टू दैट इज इन्वायरमेंटल जियोग्राफी एंड द चैप्टर इज इन्वायरमेंट एंड इन्वायरमेंटल जियोग्राफी सो लेट्स बिगिन विदाउट वेस्टिंग आवर टाइम Environmental problems. The way of life of the people depends on the environmental conditions that surrounds them. It means the way of living of people totally depends on the environment that surrounds us. For example, if we are living nearby river or in coastal areas, then our economic activities will associate with river and oceans. Similarly if we go toward mountainous regions which covers grassland there our economic activities will be like rearing of animals that means the way of life or the economic conditions of people totally depends on the environment that surrounds us in other words it can be said that environment has the sole control over man's life we can also say that the environment has complete control over man's life this is also known as environmental determinism it means how we want to lead our life is totally depend or controlled by the environment that surrounds us at present the entire global environment has been facing certain problems so also its inhabitants so at present the entire earth surface is facing different kinds of environmental problems so the inhabitants of our surface are also facing different kinds of environmental problems now it has gone to such an extent that almost all living organisms are facing some threat to life so now the environmental problems has crossed its boundary and created different kinds of environmental problems to all the living organisms and all the living organisms are facing different kinds of danger to their life it has seen not only in the urban areas but in the rural areas too and the threat to life or the environmental problems are not only limited in the urban areas only this kind of threat to life or this kind of environmental problems can also be seen in the rural areas it has really been a difficult task to find out a rational solution to such problems and it is very hard to find a perfect solution to control these kind of environmental problems now for all of us the need of the r is to understand the environment properly to become more eco friendly and to safeguard the environment with better justice as we came to know that there are different types of environmental problems associated with our environment so now the time has come to understand our environment properly so that we can become more eco friendly and we can also take some initiatives to save our environment with better justice causes for the ongoing environmental problems now we'll see what are the causes for the different types of environmental problems since the early history of mankind people no doubt used to stay with some kind of natural disasters like earthquake volcano flood cyclone tsunamis etc and these problems were purely natural that means in earlier days also people used to stay with different kind of natural disasters but basically those natural resources were natural disasters but at present whatever environmental problems we are facing are quite different as compared to earlier environmental problems at present the problems are mostly man made and at present whatever environmental problems we are facing are mostly man made and some of the environmental problems that we are facing now are rapid population growth especially in the third world countries the rate of increasing population is very high indiscriminate extraction of resources that means excessive extraction of resources large use of technology in production sector rapid growth of vehicles on road expansion of towns and cities etc if we look into the history we will see that the environmental problems have been expanding with the beginning of the industrial revolution 
in Europe during the 18th century. And if we go back and look toward the history, then we will understand that maximum environmental problems have expanded with the beginning of the Industrial Revolution in Europe during the 18th century. That means most of the environmental problems have emerged because of Industrial Revolution during the 18th century in Europe. The environmental equilibrium, that means the environmental balance has been at a risk to meet the ever increasing demand of the exploding population. That means to fulfill the needs and desire of increasing population, our environment is facing different kinds of risk. Resources has been badly utilized its extraction becomes irrational and rapid. That means some of the resources are not being extracted in a proper way. Rapid urbanization is another important factor for environmental setback. That means our environment cannot progress because of rapid urbanization. The percentage of urban population to the total population of the world in 1800 AD was just 2%. Today it is about 50%. If we go and see the total percentage of people living in urban areas in the year 1800 it was only 2%. But today it is 50%. That means 50% of people are living in urban areas. So you should notice here in the year 1800 AD only 2% of the total world's populations were living in the urban areas. But in today's day it is more than 50 percent because maximum village area have been already converted into urban increase in the number of towns and cities and also the urban population leads to different environmental problems because the urban people use more resources as compared to the rural people so day by day the number of towns and cities are increasing which leads to different kinds of environmental problems and also the people living in the urban areas, they face more environmental problems as they use more resources as compared to the people living in the rural areas. That means in short if we have to say the people of urban areas have to face more environmental problems as compared to the people living in the rural areas. But it does not mean that the people living in the rural area does not face any kind of environmental problems problems. They too face many kind of environmental problems. But as compared to the urban areas, less number of environmental problems can be seen in the rural areas. Concentration of the population in the urban centers leads to high density of population and this factor plays an important role in bringing about different environmental problems in those areas. It means that the number of people in towns and cities are generally more because the price of land is very high. As a result, multi-story buildings are being constructed where many numbers of people can stay in the same buildings. This results concentration of people which also increased the density of population of that area. And because of the concentration of people, the density increase and this bring a lot of problems in that area. The unprecedented development in the industrial sector mostly in the post-industrial revolution period has accelerated the use of different resources and thereby pollutants are also being increased manifold. That means after the industrial revolution, the industrial sector has grown very fast because of which different kinds of resources were used. And this also created different kinds of pollutants in the environment. The industrial production has been found to increase for about 100 times in the last century. And you can see here the industrial production has increased to 100 times in just the last century. It is the same problem with the use of water resources also. And if we talk about the water resources, there are also different kinds of problems have already emerged. The annual consumption of water resources globally has been increased from 100 cubic kilometer to 3600 cubic kilometer in the last two centuries that is from 1800 to 2000 AD. All these factors throw a strong impact on the natural environment leading to some catastrophe. All these factors have some impact on the environment and because of these factors our environment is leading to disaster. 
some such major environmental problems has been outlined in the next few pages so in our lesson some of the environmental problems are also discussed and those environmental problems we will discuss in our next class hope you have understood a little bit about the environmental problems and uh, if you have any kind of doubt please write in the comment section thank you very much for watching our video